NMHS Himalayan Nature Learning Center or Nature Learning Center NLC in short is a project established and funded under the National Mission on Himalayan Studies run by the Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change New Delhi It is monitored by the Govind Ballabh Pant National Institute of Himalayan Environment and Sustainable Development Almora Uttarakhand As of now it is operational in 6 Himalayan states Himachal Pradesh Assam Manipur Nagaland Tripura and Sikkim In Assam the implementing agency of NLC project is the Assam State Biodiversity Board partnering with Assam Forest Department and in collaboration with Assam Climate Change Management Society NLC Assam project is actively working in conservation of natural resources and generating awareness for importance and conservation of wetland located at Agia in Lower Assam barely 9 kilometers away from the Gualpara town is this eye captivating picturesque water body popularly known as the Urpot Bil Lake Urpot Bil comprises a water spread of 700 hectares and with the total area of more than 1000 hectares it is one of the largest natural lakes of lower assam it's a unique natural habitat for fringe communities of avifauna like adjutant stork cotton pygmy goose lesser whistling duck kingfisher etc the lake also sustains various aquatic plant life Assam as you know is a vast flood plain within this flood plain there are large rivers like Brahmaputra and Barak there are smaller rivers and rivulets like Vahini and Bharalu and then there are wetlands so this is all interconnected system when the water level rises in large rivers it enters through streams into the wetlands this flood water goes into depressions called beels so we have beels like uh, Bogi beel in near Dibrugarh Urpad beel Uh, in Golpara district and when water recedes the wetlands become isolated water becomes stagnant and they become an ecosystem in themselves wetland ecosystems are vital parts of the hydrological cycle highly productive support rich biodiversity and provide a wide range of ecosystem services such as water storage water purification flood mitigation microclimate regulation and aesthetic enhancement of landscapes while simultaneously supporting many significant recreational social and cultural activities with a number of natural resources the lake serves as the prime means of livelihood in terms of agriculture and fishing activities for the neighboring communities Over 10,000 people's lives are interdependent on the wetland culturally economically and socially Look at these bubbles obviously this shows signs of life and people know that the lake is harboring fishes for them to catch and make their livelihood The community of Gualpara is dependent on farming and environment for their livelihood It's profoundly significant for them to learn new and better strategies to protect nature and procure their everyday bread and butter from the environment. In today's day and age, importance lies in preserving this nature's gift with the help of initiatives that divert the impact of an age-old livelihood dependence of local people on such natural resources. আমার জীবনটো জড়িত হৈ আছে কে জেনেকে বিল বিলখনত আমি বিলখন ভালকে রাখিব লাগে আর বিছ আমি নহলে বিল নহয় হোৱা নিছনা আমি বিলৰ লগত আমাৰ জড়িত থাকে আৰু কি বিলৰ পৰা আমি মাছ বা বকি হেনেকে হেবিলা আনো তাৰ পিছত মাছ থৰু মাছ বিলা বেচাই দিও হেনেকে জিয়াই থাকো আৰু কি বিলৰ লগতে তাৰ কাৰণে আমি বিলখন সাফ সুথৰ কৰি ৰাখিব বিচাৰো আমি গাওখনৰ লগত মিলা মিছি কৰি কিনে বিলখন ভালকে ৰাখিব বিচাৰো আৰু হেনেকে বেলেগৰ পৰা মানুহ গিলাও আহে তাৰ পিছত আমাৰ মানুহ বিলা মানুষ বিলা দেখে তো দেখে মাছ বিলা লাইন 
through holistic and coordinated efforts to create an enabled environment for nature-based learning and sustainable developmental action. The basic thrust areas of NLC objectives are develop and promote conservation awareness and sensitization on biodiversity and natural resources. Create a cadre of trainers among the various stakeholders which can lead the conservation actions and capacity building at various levels. Promote participatory conservation action and management of wetland resources for livelihood generation. Promote conservation of endemic, rare, threatened and endangered species. Facilitate alternative livelihood generation capacities in order to reduce pressure on forest resources and promote efficient utilization of natural resources. Our department's manpower will be utilized in facilitating training and exposure visits to the students. And our department has partnership with NLC in establishing in-situ conservation under the NLC's intervention. And apart from this, our department plays a significant role in ensuring sustainability of the NLC through revenue generation. Biodiversity describes the richness and variety of life on Earth. It is the most complex and important feature of our planet. Without biodiversity, life would not sustain. Biodiversity of Urpad Beel harbors rich aquatic flora, fish, and avian faunal diversity. Greater adjutant stork found in Urpad Beel is an endangered species which is now facing the threat of extinction. Its survival depends on crucial ecological information and campaigning among various stakeholders. The water lilies, water hyacinth, and the surrounding greens are nature's gifts to mankind. The sight is much more than an aesthetic delight to the eyes beholding the attention of the onlookers. Singing praise of nature, there are a number of birds which are native of the lake. And then comes a period between October and March when migratory birds visit the Urpad B lake making the annual natural phenomena. The place is also quite fascinating for nature lovers and photographers who have a busy time here clicking pictures of the flora and fauna of the lake. NLC manublakiyat aishila mal kaot ai ai blai yat sob eti hika hikaisil ai hiblaka upor pilot amar karone bahut onuti anbo bole ami bhabi asum aro anbo আমি ইয়াত বহুত ডেভেলপ আহিলে আমি ভাল লাগিব এটি থ্রুতে বা আমি এই এটুক এই ধন্যবাদ দিব লাগা এই আমি দিব লাগছিল ইমান কেটে ধন্যবাদ দিব পারা নাই এটা আমি এইবিল জায়গাত ওপর পিলত ছামা করে গাও বলে কো সেই গাড়ো পড়া এই ওপর পিল কাশত সেই আমার নানানটা পক্ষী আহে নানানটা ইয়াত মাঝে মাঝে হাতিও আহে এইবিল আমি রেখন বেক্ষণা করবর কারণে আমি ফরেস্ট ডিপার্টমেন্টের পরে দিছে আইসে এইবিল করব লাগে যে আগুয়াই ল যাও সরকারে বা চকু দিয়ক সেই কারণে আমি অনুরোধ জানাল দি এন এল সি আসাম কন্ডাক্টস ভেরিয়াস অওয়ারনেস এন্ড সেনসিটাইজেশন প্রোগ্রামস ফর বোথ স্টুডেন্টস এস ওয়েল এস কমিউনিটি মেম্বার্স The awareness programs are organized for school students residing in the forest fringe areas across the state. The programs focus on field exposure based learning opportunities. Through effective modes of mass communication like street plays, radio talks and drama, local communities are sensitized on nature conservation. Some easy learning materials like leaflets, booklets, pamphlets posters and banners also facilitate understanding of the nature and creating awareness on conservation of the ecosystem our main focus of uh, this entire initiative which is supported by ministry of environment forest and climate change uh, government of india and uh, jb pantia university 
basically we are trying to create a huge awareness amongst the forest people, forest fringe people. If the community starts working on vermicomposting, nursery and so on, which they have taken up, means recently after the training, after this three years, uh, we had a lot of trainings and now they have started working on this. And this initiative is really helping the entire communities. The NLC Assam strives to create a cadre of nature enthusiasts, conservation workers, as well as trainers, so that the concepts of conservation and nature learning reach each and every stakeholder. So far, over 3,000 school students have registered for various training and exposure visits. By developing a series of training modules on related concepts and issues, which are also available in the official website of Assam State Biodiversity Board, NLC Assam is making a huge impact on sensitizing people about nature conservation. Under the banner of NLC Assam, nature conservation clubs have been established in nearly 100 schools, which give practical learning opportunities to the upcoming generation so as to work independently towards nature learning and conservation. The Nature Learning Center Assam also takes initiatives to improve the lives of the Koalpara community. Training is provided to the community members and members of women self-help groups on alternative livelihoods so as to reduce the pressure on the forest resources near the protected areas. Upot bilod gate lagituka, rabha aru garo, comprodeor, manubilag etu buzi baseze, Upot bilok, Hongrokon koribo lagibo. A bilto Hongrokon korile, Hyotor, Zibon huruka, I unoti hopolo baribu. Aru logote, e Upot bilkonok, Keneko Hongrokon korazai, Arukisman bodoti hote luise, Aru Hongrokon korile, Teneko dunia sorai, Aru. यारे जे दुनिया दुनिया फूल असे पानीत आरो बोट यारे बोटिंग करा आरो लोगोते जदि टूरिजमर पार्टो याते आही तेने हले एई लोकेलिटी गारो आरो राभा समाजर मानु बिलाखर दैनंदिन जीवनर उन्नति हादन होबो आरो एटु हिहते एई अंचलर मानु ভাল दरे बुझी पाइसे दि एनएलसी आसाम इज प्रोएक्टिव इन टेकिंग इनिशिएटिव्स ऑफ ऑल काइंड्स टू इंक्रीज अवेयरनेस about all aspects of biodiversity conservation. The government of Assam is heartbound to safeguard the future of Urpot Bay Lake and continue serving the people of Assam in a manner that's best suited for their generations to come. Time is round the corner that will make all the stakeholders celebrate life. That too, in a manner that best matches the nature's demands and people's desires. Time has come to celebrate the nature and life together. We, the present generation, have the responsibility to act as a trustee of the rich natural wealth for the future generations. The issue is not merely about climate change. It is about climate justice. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, 